This is a scrap metal short video for you today. I will run this down to the scrap yard and I'll put it in buckets and spread it out for those of you that like to see this. I've got quite a few different kinds of categories here. Picked up some, some cans on my last, my last session and uh, there's not enough cans there to weigh, right? but I'll pick them up and just throw them in with my like aluminum pots. It might tilt a scale a pound. Um, if I have enough cans, of course, I'll weigh them by themselves. But uh, let's take good care of this guy. Had some other copper floating around here somewhere. I'm not sure where it went. Uh, I think it's in there. Some might have a pound of copper now. Um, if you watch my videos, some, I call that stuff float. If I don't have enough stuff to weigh, I just kind of keep it in my tote and it just kind of floats. <laughs> floats around. So that's brass. I need to take that red handle off there as aluminum. So. Brass fixture, uh, aluminum handle, and a steel nut. So right there in that little piece of thing, there's three different kinds of metal. Actually four, if you count the bit of copper stuck on there. So, uh... <clears throat> That's supposed to come off there. It decided to make me... Look like a clown on video, so I'll see here. <laughs> okay, well that's cast aluminum. That red handle is a cast aluminum. Cast aluminum, well, all aluminum is weak, but a cast aluminum will shatter. A cast iron will also shatter in the same manner. If you watch this right here, see if I can get it on film or camera, whatever this is, video. See that? <laughs> Just the soft part of my shoe. There it goes, shattered time. So I could I could continue to smash that to bits. I could probably just do it. This is my favorite tool right here. I wish I used it more often. <laughs> that's a, a copper, uh, that's a utility cable cutter. It's specifically for copper and aluminum. Don't use it on ferrous steel and that because it'll ruin the blades. You can see kind of a notch in there where someone went through a nail or something once upon a time. I bought these used on eBay for like 35 bucks. They were probably 100, 120 new. It's a nice, nice pair. But uh, I don't want to use that tool for that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't have a lot of battery life on my camera right now. So. Get this guy out. Here we go. Something like that. And I'll get clean brass for that. Because that's all brass. A little piece of copper sticking in there. I have seen one scrap here. I'd be so picky that they would try to give you a dirty brass for that. Right? Brass is like a dollar eighty a pound. And because there's a little piece of copper on there, which is like three dollars a pound, right? Because there's two different kinds of metal, they would say that's dirty brass, and we're giving you eighty cents a pound, right? <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It would be unfortunate if you only had one scrapyard where you lived, and they were they were shystery like that. So.
take the motors out of this the scrap here i'm going to i have to uh get the magnetron out of here they don't take magnetron so i'm going to open this up i've shown this on video a few times i don't want to bore people but i'm going to take out these screws here safety screw i'll show you how to handle the safety screw real quick this probably stops a lot of people from doing stuff safety screws can just kind of handle like that see how this broke that out of there <laughs> there's another one there i just do the similar thing with that actually so you're on the camera real quick that's how i handle safety screws i'm not suggesting anyone try that but as you can see i've done it about 570 billion times so that's how i just wham bam slam and uh i'll show you the stuff i get out of here uh, down in the description i have a microwave cleaner video if you want to hit that link check that out okay so here's what came out of that microwave a little bit of electric wire and some copper wire that's the magnetron that's the part i got to get out the scrap yard doesn't take a little motor these these transformers here and this aluminum coil wire down there on the bottom um the scrap yard i'm going to now gives me short steel for these so that's 11 cents a pound that's better than 10 7 cents but uh, it's not as good as 25 cents a pound which i'll get for these two it's got the real copper and uh, i'll take this to another scrap yard some other day i got these off camera that's nice uh, fluorescent light fixtures there's four of those guys in there there should be a, a ballast in each one of those uh maybe there's not i think there should be i'll show that in the coming video <laughs> I got like a ligament in my wrist that pops. Don't know when it's coming. I don't know if the camera could hear that or not. That was pretty close to the camera microphone. <laughs> right, right there, man. doesn't hurt after it's done whenever it does but okay this is dangerous don't do this at home highly experienced so uh, not recommended okay my battery died when I got down to the scrapyard. That's too bad. Because that was a diverse little load I had with lots of good stuff to talk about. But, good news is, is I have more. <laughs> I have a one of my GoPro batteries. Tells me, it'll say like it has 55%. 55% charge and then five ten minutes later it's like haha no zero so i don't know it must be getting old or something so let's see what we got here i found myself a pair of new safety glasses look at that those are nice i like brand new glasses
can't say I've seen a contraption like that. Um, look at that. Isn't that strange? What, oh, what in the world am I looking at there? That must have been some kind of special light bulb. What is that? What is that? <laughs> so it's a socket, right? It's a socket. It's a socket that goes in a socket. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. Anyone know what that's for? What that is? Looks like it got hot. Look at that. Looks like it got hot, folks. I don't know. That's kind of... It's kind of odd. What do you what do you think? Anyone out there knows what that is exactly? Let us know in the comment section below. It burned. It burned. So uh, smelter. I think I can crush up glass and uh, make my own frit. I will be doing smelting videos soon. So I have a little time to kill here waiting in line. So I'm gonna clean up one or both of those ceiling fans. I usually just throw them in with my tin shed, but they're, they are worth cleaning. So let's look at what we got so far. This is my bucket of tin, this old printer. That's actually got some nice weight to it. Uh, HP Envy 5052, I think that was a fairly nice model. So, you know, you might be able to sell stuff on eBay for parts and stuff if you really want to. But, uh, top of this garbage disposal, old uh, empty spray can, an old piece of junk chair. I don't think this is enough aluminum to weigh. And then I got uh, this uh, aluminum breakage, garbage disposal, and that light deal. That's a weird, I still can't get over how weird that is. Obviously dangerous. <laughs> That thing was basically on fire. Look at that. Sheesh. So, uh, I just st stuffed that in there with the breakage. It, it's really not enough to weigh. So, uh, short steel. A massive bucket of short steel. That weighs about 5,000 pounds of short steel right there. Short steel is 11 cents. Tin shred is 7 cents. This is some communications wire. Um, it's like Ethernet right there. They might actually throw that in with number two, that gray stuff. But uh, I think it's communications wire, so that'll probably be all right. And uh, number two inside copper wire. That's some nice stuff right there. That black piece, a big thick black piece in there. That's a nice chunk. So, uh, okay. Got a little float. <laughs> a little piece of stainless steel, a little bit of lead, and a piece of copper. I'll just keep that floating around till one day it goes with a load of stuff. All right, let's see if I got enough time to get rid of this guy. Let's do this one. This one's the biggest. So these are probably more like a zinc, some kind of alloy, but most scrap guys will probably give you aluminum for them. And uh, these generally will be, will be brass. They used to be, they're probably starting to turn into aluminum now. That actually feels like aluminum, but uh, just get to it. To get clean electric motors for this, I have to take off this tin casing. Back in the good old days, I could just throw that thing in there. That would be electric motor, just the way it was. So they don't do it like that anymore though.
Hey, you want me to come here? All right, they're gonna try to get out of here. So you saw what I was doing there. A couple more screws. I get this tin case off. And uh, those used to be aluminum. Those are now plastic. This one's plastic. <laughs> the newer stuff gets cheaper. It gets uh, as far as scrap metal. That is. And then uh, I gotta. I don't wanna. I gotta get inside there. So I could take these off. That's aluminum breakage right there. This will go with the garbage disposal. Well. So see how it's working? Cause it's got stuff on it. And then uh, this is just gonna end up going as tin shred, so. But, uh, okay. Of course, if you were at your shop, you know, power tools, you could rip through there a little quicker. But, uh, I, I tried to carry electric drills once upon a time, but it seemed like half the time I, <laughs> the charge was gone and I'd have to go charge them up for an hour or two. And, end up using my hand tools anyways but for videos sure power tools are much better and your shop where you can work on stuff it's much better but out here on the fly i just kind of rely on the old style oh what well, didn't really rhyme did it chain on that fan was actually made out of a ferrous steel and uh, a good magnet sorry for kind of rushing through this video that's a super strong magnet as you can see it, it, you can save yourself a lot of time not only for testing what kind of metal is right but for picking little screws up like that right nice strong magnet might be able to sneak this in real quick while I'm waiting. I need to get inside this gate, right? Because they're going to close the gate on other people. Okay, so there it is. Um, I should probably take this off too. Those aren't screws. Um, that's probably gonna be good enough. You, but uh, just to be safe, you probably take that little piece of top off there. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird, kind of a weird build on that one. The pair of pliers just take that off right away. But uh, I'll probably get clean motor for that. So that's got some decent copper in it, but. Uh, it's super heavy steel, so you're kind of just shooting yourself in the foot to go any further. Unless, of course, you're, uh, you're like hoarding your copper for 10 years from now, thinking the price will go up, or you're making art or jewelry, or you're gonna melt it down and sell a pound of copper on eBay for $20 in the ingot, right? <laughs> but as far as just making money, um, the amount of time it takes, and, and you lose, right now it's 25 cents a pound so if i take the copper out of there all oh, the steel goes down to 11 cents a pound so that's a big factor but uh you know if you want to get you a scale and 
a calculator and do your numbers, you know. What it's worth to you, you know. Your time is your time. You do what you want with it, right? So, uh, but uh, anyways, that's nice. So, with all this on there, it was going to go as 10 shreds, 7 cents a pound. So, that's going to go as 25 cents a pound now. And that's most of the weight. So, that makes a lot of sense to clean like that, right? But sometimes cleaning down further and further and further, you're just kind of spinning your wheels. Hey, thanks, dude. Uh, garbage. Hey, there's short steel and aluminum in that one. for doing your job huh double double the price is great electric motor hey man hey thanks i don't think you got the source still yet hey thanks have a good one man yeah hey, you want me to go through the on oh, there man okay so pick up my trail of plastic <laughs> So, uh, I just kind of learned to do this on the fly, right? This is kind of how I do stuff. So, you may want to get your little shop or your garage or your basement or wherever your work area is at and uh, do it a little, a little more uh, <laughs> practical. But, uh, anyways, well, it's dark out here early. Look at these 
Hopefully I don't get rained on the way home. Take a look at some of this stuff that they pull out of the scrap piles and try to sell some stuff in here. Uh, nice little stainless steel Schaefer's. Uh, little newspaper rack. Brass, brass, and more brass. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It doesn't even look like it's been used. Let's see if I recognize anything I brought in here. That's pretty neat. Silver plated brass and some of this. <clears throat> so I made a video a while back. I scrapped some of these cords and I saw a comment saying, Yeah, you could sell those for good money. <laughs> There's some right there. Actually, it's a little different, but similar. There, that one. I had one like that. Lots of stuff you can resell for sure. Um, you know, copper like that. You can sell for a lot more than the scrap price, right? But, uh,. Lots of times I just like getting rid of stuff, man. <laughs> Hoarder. Hoarderism. That's good stuff right there, though. But, uh, yeah. It's the eye of the beholder. Lots of stuff can be resold for sure. tempted to buy that so <laughs> that's pretty cool you know what shoot I think I might have to buy that Help me, sweetie. Okay, we got Sweetie Pie's help on the receipts. Okay, we'll do the second load first because that's the one you just saw, and then I got the receipt from that first load that you didn't see spread out, but we'll talk about it anyways. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get in the light here. Thanks, Sweetie Pie. Hey, I want to thank you for helping. Okay, now we got some good light. Okay, bye, sweetie. 33 pounds 10, 7 cents a pound for 231. 5 pounds. Uh, junk wire, 30% insulator wire. So uh, that was my that was that communications wire. They must have looked looked at that gray one and not realized what it was because I had the ends chopped off. But uh, five pounds of that, 60 cents a pound for three dollars. I think communications wire is like 80 cents a pound, so that's like a dollar short there. Number two insulated copper wire, two pounds, a dollar a pound for two dollars. Clean aluminum, one pound at 40 cents. Aluminum breakage, 10 pounds. That was that garbage disposal. 10 cents a pound for a dollar. So if you see a garbage disposal laying around these days, just picture it as it's a dollar bill. Nine pounds electric motors, 25 cents a pound for 225. So that was that ceiling fan motor I cleaned up. So uh, $2.25 is not bad. It would have been seven times nine would have been uh, 63 cents had i not cleaned it up that was a gain of a dollar 62 uh short steel two pounds 
11 cents a pound for 22 cents. Okay, let's go to the first receipt. It was $13.05. 57 pounds, 10, 7 cents a pound, $3.99. The three pounds of aluminum cans, dry, 50 cents a pound, $1.50. They actually gave me aluminum cans there for my aluminum. Remember I had a little handful of cans that started a video. I said it wasn't enough to weigh. And maybe I'd tilt the scale a pound by throwing it in with my aluminum. They actually gave me, uh, it should have been 40 cents a pound. So that's uh, 30 cents right there. So this is how scrapyards work sometimes. They make mistakes both ways. So I've just kind of learned to ignore it unless it's an egregious mistake. And it has a way of kind of balancing out. And I just kind of keep a loose, loose track uh, total in my head of what I owe them or what they owe me. Currently, I actually owe them money, and uh, I just, it's just a waste of time, everyone's time to go, <laughs> go b dig that three pounds of aluminum out, right, and go back to the yard, and back of the yard, and, yeah, you know, blah, 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 oh, where's my, you know, 30 cents, you know, uh, actually, they gave me 30 cents too much, right, that's one advantage of taking the small loads, when there's mistakes made, it's not that big of a deal, just, it's almost a waste of time to even go and try to fix it. I can mess around for a half an hour trying to figure out these mistakes, right? A dollar here, a dollar there. My my time's more important to me than that. So, uh, two pounds of electric motors, 25 cents a pound, 50 cents. That's what I took out of that microwave to start the video. Those, that little tiny copper coil on that little circuit board and then that little motor, that fan motor out of the microwave. Two pounds, 25 cents, 50 cents. Pound of brass, dollar eighty. Number two inside copper wire, four pounds dollar for four dollars. Short steel, six pounds, eleven cents for sixty-six cents. Clean aluminum, forty cents, one pound, and uh, aluminum breakage, two pounds, ten cents, twenty cents, thirteen oh five. So what you just saw there on the video, those two loads I took in was twenty-four dollars and twenty-three cents. Not too bad, not too bad, could be worse, could be better, but that's just, those are just loads of garbage, right? You got anything to add, sweetie? Sweetie pie! Sweetie pie! Sweetie pie! Sweetie pie. Nice feeling you guys, we'll see you next time. Sweetie pie out! As always, thanks for watching!